Here we go, here's another tip about optimization and efficiency with regards to doing sound effects for these little mini-movies according to the other videos that I've shot before. iTunes, you can use multiple libraries. Now by default it's going to store it in your user library folder. Well, you can put these anywhere you want. You can see over here I've got these on a completely separate volume. I created a folder called iTunes Libraries. I have iTunes Effects and then I have iTunes Personal. Now I'm storing all of my sound effects in a folder called Sound Effects. The whole goal is simply to to use iTunes in order to organize and be able to preview your sound effects and not be actually store them within the iTunes library. You can see that because if I select the effects and get info, you can see it's only 7.4 megabytes even though I have gigabytes, many gigabytes of effects. So here's all you have to do. When you double click on iTunes, you're going to hold down the option key. Now I'm getting this stupid dialogue because I'm recording at such a small resolution, but I'll click continue and I'll keep holding down the option key, well it didn't come up, but what will happen is when iTunes doesn't prompt you for that stupid resolution prompt thing, it will prompt you for what library you want to choose. Dialog will look the same. You click choose library. You'll simply navigate to your effects versus your personal. Next tip. The next tip is go into the iTunes preferences. Under the preferences, you're going to go under the advanced. Uncheck this option right here. Copy iTunes or copy files to iTunes media folder for this specific library. Now you may need to go in and recheck that if you like that option on your preferences because this is stored within the preferences of your actual iTunes application. Once you've done that, all you're going to do is from your sound effects folder, you're going to expand that and then simply drag these folders in. You can see that I have all of my effects all right here. Now, noise generator is a really nice uh, effect library. All you have to do is in iTunes, you can preview the library by double clicking to hear the sound. This one happens to have multiple. If it's a sound that you like, all you have to do is right click on that and then choose show in finder. Once you've showed that file in the Finder, if it has multiple sounds embedded within it, you're going to go to an application, say like Amadeus, and you're simply going to drag that on top of the application, which is then going to open it. You can select all of the sound that you want, copy that, make a new document, paste that in, and then save that sound wherever you want. Once you have that sound saved, which I will simply close these, then switching over to your GarageBand application, which there it is right there. So here's my GarageBand application and we will pretend that over here is one of the sounds that I want. I'll just get this sound right here. All you have to do is with all of the windows not blocking your GarageBand is drag in the sound that you had saved right into your GarageBand quick uh, keynote movie and you're good to go. And that's it.